Welcome to Year 5, Lesson 4, Pac-Man 4, Task 5. We're now going to add a crashing sound as Pac-Man touches the red square on each level. So the first thing you're going to do is to select the Pac-Man thumbnail, select the Sounds tab, and we're going to this time import a sound from the library. We're going to choose Symbol Crash and then just test your sound. We're going to add some effects. If you look at the effects you can fade in, fade out, louder, softer, silence, reverse. We're going to have it louder because we've got the Pac-Man music playing and we want the symbol to be louder than the Pac-Man music as Pac-Man touches the red square. We've now got the sounds file imported. So the next thing we're going to do is to select the scripts tab. From the sounds palette, you're going to play sound symbol. Drag out the play sound symbol. And when Pac-Man touches the red square on level 1, you're going to play the symbol crash, then he will shout level 2. Again, on level 3, we'll drag it out, play sound. So on level 2, Pac-Man when he touches the red square will give a symbol crash and finally play sound symbol crash as soon as he touches the red square on level 3 you'll play a symbol crash and the game will end click file save test your work and you can hear the symbol on level 2. We're now on level 2 and if you noticed Pac-Man did touch the red square. However the symbol hasn't crashed. It's a little bit delayed and that is a slight bug within Scratch so click stop, click file, save, close the file, open it again and it will work perfectly. So we'll click the green flag many programs have bugs in and you can see it now works. Many hours are lost with programmers when there are a bug present but this happens in all programs and that is the end of task 5